This is Twit. Now, uh, folks, as promised, we do have a little goodie, a little uh. bit of unboxing goodness. And this is especially good. Stop looking, I told you. Yeah. It's in that special dimension in time and space. Okay. This is especially good because this has not yet been released. This has been sort of teased for a while, and they were going to try to get uh, this to me back in August, but things got bogged down. A month of price finally came through. And you, you may know that I like their printers. I have one of their version twos. I have one of their selects, uh, their pluses. They work incredibly well. They're low priced. But people have been complaining that they need something that's even lower priced, lower than $300, something that maybe fits into a space a bit better because those printers, you know, they take up a desk mm -hmm. uh, and they're not really easy to stow. Something that a true beginner could get into. And so they came up with this. this a thing. cardboard box. A cardboard box. Thank a you very Prince much, things. ladies and gentlemen. You put the item in the cardboard box <laughs> and it comes out as a scully. I'm a living in a box. Yeah. I'm a living in a cardboard box. Now, inside of this is the Monoprice Mini Delta 3D oh, printer. And this is, this is the whole thing. Now, here's the cool thing. This is ready to go. This is fully assembled. So out of the box, this you literally pull it out and you just plug it in and it's good to go. Wow. Now it's it's got a couple of things that I really really like. First, it's a delta. Um, actually, here there we go. It's a delta. So rather than having the x and y axis, I've got these three actuators that go up and down, and that will translate into all the x y movement that I need. Uh, it's a heated build plate. It's a 110 by 120 millimeter build area. It's not huge, but it's not the smallest I've ever seen. It's still, yo, know, it's pretty good. It'd be enough for most of the projects that we do here at Know How. Unlike a lot of, uh, of beginner printers, I'm just gonna try to take my plastic off, Jason. <laughs> Told you that's the Filipino plastic. Uh, now, unlike a lot of other beginner printers, this will do both PLA and ABS, not just PLA, because a lot of them, they kind of stick with a lower temp to drive the prices down. Weighs four pounds, total of four pounds. This auto calibrates, so I don't have to do any of that weird stuff with the build plate to try to get it right, which almost never works for a long time. This, you push a button and will automatically adjust the build plate for you. Uh, it's all metal. It's got an LCD status screen. It's also got Wi-Fi, micro SD, and USB connectivity. So I don't even have to hook anything up to this to get it to print. And I gotta tell you, I, I really like this thing. They've done such a good job, it's amazing. Uh, now, what we're gonna do over the, the next couple of weeks is I wanna run this thing through its paces. Um, I wanna put it up next to the Maker Select, uh, and next to the, uh, uh, the, the Plus, and see if the prints compare favorably. Because one of the things about a lot of beginning printers is the prints kinda look how they're supposed to look, but the definition is just not there. Mm -hmm. Actually, I kinda wanna take, take, take this off. In the, in, the, in the world of 3D printing, where does Monoprice stand on this type of hardware? Monoprice, you, they, they build a lot of clones. So they build okay. low-priced clones of a lot of the most popular printers. And I get that, that's cool. Um, it's actually pretty good. Uh, the, the thing that I've told people about the, the other ones, the ones that we've already had on the show, is mm. they're not beginning printers. They, they require a little bit of adjustment. You right. have to know how 3D printing works because you have to adjust the bed. You have to understand you know, what is good for the filament and not. This, not so much. Now, this is, they literally designed this to be a plug it in and go. It doesn't even have to be connected to your computer. You don't even have to use an SD card. You can hook it up to your Wi-Fi network, send print jobs to it, and it's off to the races. It's not gonna be the fastest thing, but, and this is well, why I think you're gonna like it, You've been complaining that those other printers, which will run you between $250 to $300, are too expensive. This little guy, $150. $150? $150. Bucks. Not bad. Yeah. In fact, you can't get it right now. See, they're, they're just in production. This is actually, I think, number, what, 700 out of 1,400, the first 1,400 that they made. Uh, so when this goes on price, uh, on sale for $150, bucks, and it's this small, and you can move it in and out of your work area as necessary, I think this might actually get some of our audience to finally dive into the, the 3D printing. No kidding, uh, that's, a, that's a super low price. Yeah, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through some of our, our projects, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna divide up some of the larger builds so that they will all fit on this, uh, on this build plate. But I gotta say, you know, especially since this head is completely up, upgradable, um, I have so many plans for this thing. Um, <laughs> this this might actually come with me to Rome. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll fit in your bag. It's not yeah. small. I, actually, yeah. Hold on, wait. Yeah. Oh, yeah. maker backpack. You could make your you could print yourself with this larger printer a backpack to fit this uh, on your back.